this organizational system was an epic fail. But I've got a better solution. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Creative Katie, Karen Virchel. About six months ago, I made a video where I introduced you to two Dollar Tree finds that I thought were going to help organize my studio. Now, these ones here, Home Run. I have found so many uses for them in different areas of my studio. It just fits and I'm so glad I came across these and I will be looking for more of them. Now the video where I talk about both of these, you're gonna want to go to that video and I'll put the link in the I card in the top right hand corner. You're gonna wanna go to that video and see because I go through how many Sharpies fit in here, how much color sparks, how much Posca markers, how many pit markers, different things that you might have in your studio so you'll know exactly how many to get or whether these work for you. Now this one, which come in either packs of two or three, I'm not sure, but this was an epic fail. For storage in my studio. Now my plan with these was to store small ephemera. So some of this is Tim Holtz stuff, some of it is um, ephemera that I made that's small scale, some of it is there's more ephemera, stuff that I bought at the Dollar Tree, stamped images, but all small scale focal images. So when you have an organizational system, you think maybe that it's going to work. It's going to do what you want it to do. And six months later, a year later, you need to evaluate it. And that's what I've done here. These, I rarely went to. And when I did, I found them hard to deal with, hard to to work with. So why did they fail? Well, first off, I would have to have so many of these for all the small scale ephemera, focal images that I have, that the sheer amount of storage space I would need for them really doesn't, would not warrant how many, how much I use smaller scale focal images. So that's one reason. The other reason is for the fail. I bought the colored one to match my studio and thinking, oh, it's clear enough. They did have clear ones, so maybe that would be different. But I find it hard to see what's in there, which means you have to then open it up. And then when I'm creating and I have to open everything up to see it, I don't like that. And so then I just didn't do it. So if an organizational system isn't working for you, don't keep it just because you spent money on it. So I did decide that these are going to leave my studio and I'm going to find, I think I came up with another way to store my small scale focal images. So stay tuned. One thing that I follow, I never throw out any organizational system. I may sub it out, may change over time. That's part of the organizational process. As you change as an artist, you may need to change your organizational systems. I move them out, I put them in a bin in the crawl space, then I access them at another time, either in the studio or in other places in my home. So I did come up with lots of ways to use these in other places. So if you 
took my suggestion and are finding the same thing, that you're not using them, there are uses. These can be used to for dice games, for traveling, and cards. It fits a full deck of cards. They can easily be thrown into your travel bag. Instructions or the rules can just be put in there as well. They stack, they're compact, they work great for this. They're also great for candies, lozenges, tea bags, again, for traveling. Q-tips, makeup sponges, you see where I'm going with it. They work great for snacks as well, although the hinges are a little hard to open and close for so a child may not have it so easy. So lots of uses outside of the craft room. My money is not wasted. So what am I going to do with this small scale ephemera? And this has been a struggle. I've come up with some really good organizational systems and they have worked for years in my studio, but small scale ephemera, it's a struggle. So let's just move these aside. Now I want a system that is going to hold the small scale ephemera. Allow me to sort them, take up minimal storage space, and be easy to access. I have this CD case. The CDs have long gone with Google Music and Amazon Music and all those things, but this has sat in my studio because I was determined to find a use for it. Now, if you don't have one of these, I know I've seen lots of these in the thrift store. And if this works, I may be looking for more of them. So I like the size of this. It's small, it's compact, and it's seemingly going to hold lots. So let's just see how this will work. Again, it's all about experimentation. So I have the Angry Birds, Angry Birds, Crazy Birds, and the dogs. I have the cats somewhere. Now the advantage right off the bat is this will hold them even before they are cut out. Oop, there's more birds, so I'm gonna put those up there. When I am stamping, I stamp a lot. I like to build my stash and have it easily accessible. Now these are, the, these stamps here, I use a lot. So I like to have them handy. And if I cut out more than I need, it needs to fit into the organizational system as well. So far, I am loving this because I do not have to cut them out, but they can be cut out as well. So we have an assortment of bees. I've got printables, small scale printables that I've, you know, once, the, if they're on the sheet, that's fine, but once you start cutting them out and you want to be able to easily flip through and search. Now I'm not really paying attention to the order. I think I might play with that and organize them by theme at some point in time. Not sure. This is some Tim Holtz ephemera. It does have this hole in it, but it's seemingly holding on to everything. So we've got fairies. That was from... So this is gonna allow me to use some of those napkins. All I did here is I Mod Podge the paper, scrap paper, 
glued it down, Mod Podge on top or fluid matte medium, whatever you want. And now I can cut them apart, or once they are cut apart, I have a place to store them. And so if I did a series of ATCs or cards or smaller scale, I'm gonna have these at the ready. I'm not gonna have to start mod podging and harvesting from the napkin. I wanna do those kind of things in a stash builder and have them ready. The more ready they are, the more I find I use them. And then your creative time, you can get art journaling done in less time if you have that stash. But you need to have things organized. You need to be able to find them. So I, I would be sorting these by type. I would put animals together, flowers together, butterflies together. The other thing I think would be great in here, when you have different scrapbook papers, you often have these smaller ones that could be kept. This also, some of them that might be just a little bit too big because it doesn't have to fit in there. I can put it here and it still fits. So I'm thinking that's a win. And even with all the stuff, and I think I have about five pages left, it still zips up completely. So I have a lot of stuff. Remember these bins? I only had in, enough for nine ones in this. This takes up a whole lot less room. So in conclusion, I think this CD case turned into small focal image storage is going to work. First off, it's a win because it's very space efficient. Remember this? This is what we replaced with. This only has nine in here and takes up easily double, if not triple, the space in my studio. This has 48 sections. Because it has 48 sections, it's going to allow me to sort the images. I have more categories so I can more easily access the small focal images that I have. The small size of this means that it can sit in my general crafting space. It doesn't have to be stored further away and location is everything. If I can see it, I'm more likely to use it. So this, I'm gonna put a picture of where I plan on keeping this. It is right to the left of my work area. And I think because it's there, I will use it more based on what I know about how I create. Ease of accessibility. So location, it's got it. It can be in my general space. Also, looking. When I'm in the middle of a project, I can easily flip through this very quickly and see what I have, take whatever, pull it out, audition it, easily put it back. I will say that I think when I'm sorting, I might put two of things in here. I won't clog these up with 
too much. I will use the extra space, which is another reason I am liking this because there is room to grow. I know that there are lots of these at the thrift store. I've seen them. I think my husband even has some upstairs, so I may be utilizing those. So if this works, I can easily expand this so I can sort into finer categories, which is just going to make it easier to find and put back the small ephemera focal images. I also love this because it solves a problem that I've had just having easily accessible small focal images. I've actually avoided creating smaller scale things because it's just too involved. I'm looking in too many places. It just becomes cumbersome and so I avoid it. So I think that solves the problem. It is also gonna allow me to maximize the use of napkins. I have a lot of napkins and sometimes I might use a larger piece of it and then there's a smaller piece what do you do with that? Now this is gonna allow me, I can take it, decoupage it down either with my iron decoupage technique sheets or just using Mod Podge and gluing it down and then cutting it out and having it here at the ready. I create better when I have stuff in my stash that I can just go to and grab. I love that this system is also going to make it easier for me to do a stash builder where I take my small scale stamps, get out my stamp press, stamp them, cut them apart. Now I have a place to put them, just rough cut out, and then I can use them when I'm creating, but I'm going to have it at the ready. This also solves the problem of those scrapbook, Stamperia scrapbook pads. Often they have that smaller ephemera like this. Now, instead of keeping it all together, mixing the larger pieces with the smaller pieces, and then I found that the smaller pieces, it, it just takes forever to sort, so then I don't do it. I don't remember what's there. So now I have them, also it's going to trigger, oh yeah, I do have that scrapbook, some larger ones that go with this scrapbook collection. Maybe I can go get them. So two wins right there. This is also going to be great if you take your art on the road, either when you're traveling abroad or you're just going on a create date with friends. All your small scale focal images are here. It closes up, it's compact, easy to take. So will this work? I guess time will tell. Have you used a CD case to solve an organizational problem in your studio? Or how do you store your small scale focal images? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, help me grow my channel. Until next time, go get organized.